guys, this is Lim with Lim Reviews and after using the Xiaomi Mi 9 SE, which is this device right here, so just bear in mind that this is not the Xiaomi 9, which some of you guys got confused for, this is the Mi 9 SE. So after using it for a bit more, there are just a couple more thoughts that I want to share with you guys and maybe help you out in that purchase decision. So let's get to it right away. Alright guys, so I've been using the Mi 9 SE for a couple of days now and this is just a few of my personal thoughts after using this device and it is how I would really summarize the Xiaomi Mi 9 SE. So I have a few points here and the first point I want to talk about is the battery life. Of course, the thing that I noticed the most obviously is that the battery life is rather poor. So I got only a screen on time of 4.5 hours under normal usage and this is not even under heavy use. Like, I did a lot of uh, browsing on the internet, I listened to some music, watched a couple of YouTube videos, and yeah, I played a few games of uh, PUBG and Mobile Legends. But seriously, I didn't really put this phone through its paces, and I only got four and a half hours of screen on time. So the battery life is really poor here. The second thing that I want to share with you guys is that charging on this device is pretty quick. I got 0 to 50% in 30 minutes, and I completed the full charge using the charger that came in the box in 1 hour and 20 minutes. So yeah, that's pretty good for the charging on the Mi 9 SE. The third thing I want to share about here is that the AMOLED display is just average. I mean, it does give you some pretty decent viewing angles, but this is definitely not the best AMOLED display I've seen. Xiaomi claims this AMOLED display is from Samsung, but I personally think that it is as good as those really good LCD panels. So the AMOLED display here is good, but it's not great. So the next thing I want to share with you guys is my experience using the cameras on this device. So you probably already know that it has a 48 megapixel uh, camera, it has this uh, wide angle sensor and a depth sensor. So these numbers don't really matter to me. What really matters is the final outcome and the pictures here are really really good. So check out this short that I made using the images taken from the Mi 9 SE. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment sections below. Moving on, I would like to talk about the in-display fingerprint scanner. So, as you all know, I'm not really a big fan of the in-display fingerprint sensor. I mean, it does work way better than other in-display fingerprint sensors in that it is actually very easy to recognize. As you can see, I ma I've managed to get almost all these unlocks perfectly. But sometimes, occasionally, there is just this, uh, you just don't get it and it's a hit and miss affair. So. I think that personally, a physical home button will be best if it is placed on the back. But for now, I think this fingerprint sensor is still pretty good. Moving on, let's talk about gaming on this device. As I've shared in my previous video, gaming on this device so far has been really, really smooth. Um, another thing that I want to note is that the device doesn't get too hot even under like 30 minutes of gaming, even one hour of gaming and it's still fine, it still feels cool. Maybe it's because it's using this glass back panel so it doesn't feel that warm. But yeah, gaming on the Mi 9 SE is a breeze. It is really good for gaming and you can definitely expect some really smooth kind of experience during games. Moving on, let's talk about the speakers at the bottom. I know a lot of you guys like to ask questions about the speakers at the bottom. Yes, the speakers here are pretty good. It's really good for a single firing speaker and the quality is pretty good. It doesn't get too thinnish. But one thing I must say is that the volumes don't go very high. So here is a quick sample for you guys to evaluate. Last but not least is the one main thing that I really hate about the Mi 9 SE 
and that is the camera UI. So in my previous video, I also shared with you guys like sometimes it takes such a long time for the shutter to actually res respond. You know, I don't know why that's happening. It may be a maybe a software bug. So I tap it and there you go. It takes the photo like after uh, three or four seconds and then it works fine again. And after a while, if you go into another mode, maybe you try and uh, focus it very quickly. So you got your focus there and you hit and there. You see, it's so slow. I don't know why this is happening. And it happens in all sorts of modes. Uh, let's say I go to night mode and I, I focus on this light bulb again. I press and you see, now it starts taking the photo. So what is wrong with my device? I don't know if this is like, this is only happening on my Mi 9 SE or it is happening on all other Xiaomi devices. It is really frustrating and it is one of the main reasons why I don't feel like using this phone anymore because I take a ton of photos. But yeah, like I showed you guys the uh, camera samples earlier on, once you get that shot, it is a really, really good shot. So the Mi 9 SE is capable of taking some really nice photos. All right, so this is just a short video. I want to conclude this video by letting you know that at the end of the day, um, there, there are a few good things about the Mi 9 SE, such as the pretty decent display, okay-ish speakers, and yeah, really nice build quality for sure. The cameras are also really nice. Like they really give you uh, amazing shots and yeah, it is a really nice experience using the Mi 9 SE. However, the two main things that I really hate about this device is number one, of course, the camera UI that I just mentioned about. And number two, the battery life, which is really, really poor. I mean, I'm not expecting a lot of uh, a very long battery life, but four and a half hours of screen on time is just really too bad. So yeah, I mean, I would really recommend you guys to check out the uh, Xiaomi 8, which is last year's flagship. It is currently priced the same as the Mi 9 SE right now. So given the choice, I would definitely go for the Mi 8 because it comes with a Snapdragon 845. The cameras I tested previously to be really good as well. And yeah, I mean, the Mi 8 is, feels like a way better phone than the Mi 9 SE. So again, the choice is you, up to you guys to decide which you'd prefer. And if you guys have any more questions, just leave them in the comment sections below. I'm Lim with Lim Reviews and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.